months ago I did a call out in the Clara estate area where I caught a mamba in the evening time that was up near the, the roof of the house and they had a box of kittens on a table nearby which the mamba had obviously come looking for. Well, you will probably remember that in that video um, I said to the people that due to the fact that uh, she was a female that I caught there that in the winter time they must expect that they might get a male or a couple of males coming to look for her because her scent would still be there even though I've taken her away and the scent would still be there and if there are any males in the immediate vicinity that pick up on her scent they're gonna come looking well what do you know um, we're going into winter now which is a black mamba mating season and they've just given me a call to say they've got another one um, I think they said to me it's in there they've got a shed area where they keep uh, all sorts of odds and ends and uh, apparently it's coiled up quietly in there so we're gonna go check it out and uh, who knows because it is the mating season it might not be alone maybe more in there so yeah let's go check of course uh, when you're in a rush and you've got a black mamba call out you always have to hit a traffic jam isn't it amazing without fail Ordinarily, I'd be about three minutes away at this point and now we're probably going to take about six, seven minutes to get there. So we're gonna have another one. What do you think? It's in, it's in, it's in our junk room. Okay. Hello, how's it? You still see it there? Stay tuned, they can save yeah, with each other. They'll hang around together because of the mating season.
was surprised by the last one, how big it was being yeah. a female, because the females are normally... Both just bolt and disappear. Eh? So, that, I wonder if that's going to be another boy or female. It would make more sense that it's a girl than the other one that disappeared now. Alright, we'll stop this for now and let's go check for another mamba. Okay, guys, so we're back in the shed. There's definitely another mamba, but we don't know if it has just gone down and gone somewhere where it feels safe or if it's exited this shed altogether so we can have a look around what I can see right now check here there's so much poo in here this is from um, I think dussies or <laughs> yeah this could be dussy droppings so that's obviously why they've come here because they've got food and it's sheltered and it's warm. She might have just gone like in between these, um, these uh, what do you call these doors? Hey guys, let me scratch around here, see if I can locate this other snake, and then uh, I'll film once once that happens. Okay guys, haven't spotted her yet, but I'm getting a really strong smell <coughs> of black mamba. And I'm now underneath the doors, that this is where the boy was. And we heard her going sort of down to the side. You can see there's uh, enough gaps here for her to get outside. It's probably where they come and go, through there. Um, what I'm quite interested in over here is this um, air conditioning ducting. She could very well be inside here. I just want to try to get a bit closer where I can stick my head in and put a torch light in there and see if I can see her. She might, she might not have exited this shed. She might have just gone and settled somewhere. Let's get there and have a look.